Welcome to Life Effects. I'm Dave and this is where I do stuff with effects. A few weeks ago I asked in the Houdini Artists Facebook group if they have a few ideas where to apply VEX to solve a problem. And there was one idea that not only had an interesting problem to solve, it also was the opportunity to tackle an even bigger problem. The problem that you read in the title. How can you stay procedural? The basic idea of this example was to use the make circle function that was shown in the tutorial video from SiteFX. And the basic idea works like this. You have a geometry, like in this example, a dodecahedron. We then create more subdivisions with the subdivide node, change the algorithm to open subdiv bilinear, set the depth on factor 2, and then the example used an edit node. You can, for example, select a number of primitives and then hit Shift C or otherwise right click and select Make Circle. This is a pretty handy tool when it comes to modeling. But this approach definitely breaks your procedural chain for different reasons. The first one, you had to select the primitives or the points or the edges manually by hand. And the second problem, if you change the incoming geometry, for example, by changing the size of the initial object, you can see how the shape of the circle is changing. So let's get rid of that edit node. We want to build this the procedural way. First, we need to analyze the problem. What do we need to solve this? Somehow we need to select this group of primitives without selecting them by hand. One possible way could be to start with the center point on each primitive and then go on from there. But how to get to it? I did it this way. Create a facet node. Check unique points and then create a primitive node. With that node you can scale each primitive on its own. Check do transformation and right from the start the pivot is at the center of that primitive. This is a very practical method on its own. But in this case it allows us to scale it down to zero. Now all points of each primitive share the same position in world space. But we only need one of them, so create a fuse node and check keep unused points. That leaves us with one point at each location. And as you can see on the wireframe, it's always the center point of each plane. And now it's time to write a bit of VEX coding to create our own make circle function. Create an attribute wrangle node, connect the subdivision into the first input and the created center points go in the second input. We only want to execute this logic once, so turn the wrangle to detail. First I want to bring in an external parameter. I save it in the variable search radius. Hit the icon on the right to create the UI element and initialize the value with point 2. I want to make a circle on each primitive. That means I need to repeat the following steps for each point that comes in on the second input. The function endpoints holds the amount of points that come in. So I create a for loop and in that for loop I grab the position from the current center point. With that position, I then use the function near points to grab all the points on the subdivided geometry that are close to that position. The use distance is the search radius. Next, I will need a few more variables. For one, I need two float variables, an average distance and a single distance, and then two vectors. I call it my position and dear for direction. Now I need to refine the data that I already gathered. In the array PTS, are the points that I want to select for the circle, like this one, but it also contains the point in the center and I don't need that one. To solve this I create a for each loop and run over the contents of the array. I grab the position of the current point and then I measure the distance between the center point and the point of the array. And if that distance is too small I can assume that it is indeed the center point. In that case I remove it from that array. And it got an error because I used a comma instead of a semicolon. Now at least the code is doing something. But now we have to do the programmer's favorite thing. We need to somehow debug our code and check if it's doing the right thing. An easy way to do that is just to print out the variables in question. In our case I need to find out if our array contains 10 points. With the center point it would be 11. But instead of 10 or 11 we have 5. This leads us to the second problem that broke our procedural chain. The distance that we used to search for the near points was just far enough to grab the closest points. The points of this star shape that are a bit farther away are not within the search radius. 
So if I would decrease the size of the initial geometry, we get our 10 points. So basically, the parameter search radius at the moment keeps the setting from being procedural. If it doesn't have the right value, we don't get the 10 points that we need. Obviously, the right value is related to the radius of our initial geometry. So whatever we do, it has to involve this radius. So copy the parameter and go back to our wrangle. Paste the relative reference and then divide the radius by 2.5. If we now change the size of the object, you can see that the amount of points in our array never changes. It has always 10 points. That means we solved the problem with the center point and the dynamic changes through the size. That means we can finally create the make circle function without any more problems. I create another for each loop and this time again I need the position of each point and again measure the distance between the center and the current point. I take that distance and add that on the average distance. After this loop, I just have to divide the average distance by the amount of elements that are contained in that array. Then I copy the head of the for each loop, I keep the point function for the position, and then I create the normalized direction by subtracting the center point from each position that was saved in the array. That provides me with the exact direction from the center point to the current point. That allows me to pull each point back to the position of the center point and then multiply the average distance with the direction and add that on top of the original position. All that is left to do is set the new position vector as the position for the current point. And when I now hit apply, I notice that I did a mistake. I forgot a bracket here and I missed a letter in the word distance. And now it works. And there you have it a procedural make circle function by utilizing the VEX language. This was a fun problem to figure out and maybe it gave you an idea what proceduralism is all about. If you have more ideas for problems to solve, let me know in the comments. Maybe this could become a new series, something like make it procedural. I hope you found that useful and are back next time.